This quick video demonstration shows you how to convert a PSCAD case to an RSCAD case for real-time simulation. PSCAD's IEEE 39 bus system sample case will be used to demonstrate the PSCAD to RSCAD conversion tool. In the RSCAD file manager window, open the convert module. I'm going to select the first option, which is a PSCAD to RSCAD conversion tool. In this window, please navigate to the location where your PSCAD case is saved. Once you've selected the case that you would like to translate to RSCAD, select the Translate button. The Log Messages tab shows all the messages generated during the translation. This includes any error or warning messages, which you can see from this summary below. It is important to read through the warning and error messages and make any necessary modifications. Once I am ready to open my case in RSCAD, I can save the case, and then I can launch the RSCAD case from within the PSCAD to RSCAD conversion tool itself, or I can go back to the RSCAD file manager window. The newly created RSCAD case is saved into a folder named From PSCAD. This case has the same name as the PSCAD case. All the components within the translated case are placed into hierarchy boxes. The dashed line graphic represents the transmission line which connects components in one hierarchy box to another. If I were to change the arrangement of my hierarchy boxes within my draft case, I would have to move the hierarchy boxes and then move the graphics of the transmission line accordingly. This process can be tedious if you were to move multiple hierarchy boxes. You can reorganize the placement of your hierarchy boxes in an easier way from within the conversion tool itself. Let's go back to the conversion tool and open up the next tab. The overview tab on the right hand side of the window shows where the components will be located on the RSCAD draft drawing canvas. The conversion tool determines the placement of components based on the PSCAD case. However, the user can easily move components around by clicking and dragging them to the desired location. You will notice that the dashed line graphic representing the transmission line moves with the hierarchy boxes. In some cases, you might want to split your network into multiple racks. This can be easily achieved using the conversion tool. First, I will select the hierarchy box that I would like in my new rack. You will notice that the corresponding hierarchy box is highlighted in the left panel. I can then simply right click and select new rack. You can also move several hierarchy boxes to a new rack at once. All the components in the second rack are now outlined in the left panel and also by the different color in the graphical view. The transmission line colors are also changed to reflect which rack the transmission line calculation block is computed on. To move hierarchy boxes from one rack to another, I can simply click and drag it over. Similarly, I can move transmission line calculation blocks from one rack to another using the lines and cable tab. Once again, I'm going to click and drag it to the desired rack. In this graphical view, you can see that there are four transmission lines which are used for subsystem splitting. Now let's take a look at the draft case. Now when I open my draft case, I can see that the system is split onto two racks. When I zoom out of my case, I can see the four different transmission lines which are used for subsystem splitting. For transmission lines used for subsystem splitting, a label is created indicating where the end of the transmission line is on the other subsystem. A similar format is presented in the second subsystem. 
With a few simple steps, we were able to translate the IEEE 39 bus system from the PSCAD case to a multi-rack RSCAD case for real-time simulation. More information about the PSCAD to RSCAD conversion tool can be found in the Help option at the top right corner of the Conversion Tool window. The Help option presents a user's guide, which takes the user step-by-step -step through the conversion process. It is important to review the user guide before using the PSCAD to RSCAD conversion tool to understand the features and limitations of the tool. Thank you for watching this video demonstration of the PSCAD to RSCAD conversion tool.